Hey guys, this is Floss from East River Pilates. I'm here with Well and Good, taking you through a 30 minute full body Pilates workout. This is the perfect series to do if you're stuck at home, doesn't require any props, and you can do it absolutely anywhere. Let's get started. Starting off with your squat, you're going to place your feet in underneath your hips. Stack your rib cage on top of your pelvis below. Relax the arms by the side, extending out through the fingers. Breathe in, and when you breathe out, let's sit back into the squat. Reach your arms out away from you, squeeze your glutes to stand back up again. Think about sending the sit bones back, back into space, keeping the chest nice and lifted. Reaching the bottom back and the fingertips forward. As you come down into your squat, keep your abdominals tight. Think about drawing in through the rib cage. And let's come down and hold on your next one. Here, reaching out through the fingertips. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. Wrap your abdominals in around your waist, pulling your belly button in towards your spine. Let's start to pulse. Let's get a little deeper into those quads a little deeper into those glutes. As you pulse, feel that little lift from those bum muscles, those glutes below. We're gonna take you through another five, four, three, two, one, and let's hold. Hold, pushing back through the bottom, reaching out through the fingertips, and let's stand up. Your arms come down by your side, give your body a little shake out, and reach those arms forward. Relax your shoulders down away from your ears and coming into our heel raises. Breathe in to prepare and as you breathe out, press the big toes down to the mat below, rise up to the tiptoes. Breathe in to come back down. Breathe out to rise up to your tiptoes. Breathe in to come down. Feel that as you're coming up, you're extending not only through the ankles, you're squeezing your calf, quad, glutes, those abdominals are nice and tight around your waist. On your next one, come up, hold up, and stay up. Zip your abdominals up through the middle, hold your balance, squeeze your ankles a little towards one another, and hold it as you open your arms out to the side, keeping those shoulders relaxed away from your ears. So you feel just a little bit more burn coming to those calf muscles, try and stay nice and still and steady, nice and smooth with your breath. We're going to take one more and then reach those arms out in front, keep those heels lifted, coming back to that squat again, putting the two together, let's send the bottom back, keep the heels lifted, squeeze for the glutes to come back to the top, taking another four. As you move through, think about keeping your ankles squeezing towards one another, pressing those big toes down into the mat. And let's take that final one. Come down, hold down, lift your heels, pull your ankles towards one another, your knees in, push the bottom back. Let's stand tall, bring those arms down and give your body a shake on out. So moving around and coming into a lunge series. We're gonna take your left foot forward, take your right foot back, a big step distance between the two. Have equal weight on the front and the back foot and lift that back heel up. So you're pressing down through your big toe on that back foot. Square yourself up to a point in front, pulling back through your left hip, drawing through your waist, tuck under with your tail, and let's come down into our first lunge. Bend through the back knee, think about your body going straight down like an elevator, and squeeze through your quads and your glutes to come back up. Breathe in to come down, and breathe out to come up. We're going to take another three. Smooth and steady with your breath. Come up and hold up. We're going to straighten out through the back leg. Bend through the front and bring your body out into a hinge. This exercise is all about firing up through the glute and the quad on that front leg. So straighten out through the back leg. Pull back through the hip and the pelvis on that front side. And now let's reach those arms out and away from you. The higher you reach those arms, the more difficult that's going to be. So you can reach a little bit lower if you need to here as well. Keep drawing that front hip back, firing up through that glute. From here, let's lower your back heel down. And then as you rise back up to your tiptoe, reach out through your fingertips. 
shoulders are relaxed away from your ears. And we're going to stay here for 10. So that means that you've got five to go. As you take those final five, keep pulling in through your belly. Stay nice and tight around your waist. Keep pulling that left glute back and driving your front foot down and into the floor. You're going to take your final one, lift up, hold up, stay up, hands come back to your hips. Moving now into a curtsy lunge, you should be feeling that in that front left glute. You're going to bring your back foot across and just off the edge of your mat. Bend through both hips and knees and come down into your curtsy lunge. Squeeze through both quads and glutes as you lift back to the top. Breathe in to come down and then breathe out to push up. Keep circling back with that front hip, trying to keep it open up through the hips and the pelvis. And from here, have you got another five in here? As you keep working, keep that work in that front glute, in that front quad. We're going to take another two. We're going to take another one. Hold it. Can you hold it here for five? Breathe through it. Four, three, two. One, and then step those feet together. Reach those arms up, reach those arms down, give those legs a little shake out. And we're gonna come over to the other side. So starting with our high lunge this time, the right leg stays forward and your left leg steps back. So a nice big step between the two. Find that you're nice and strong with your back toe on the back foot and your front foot, you're heavy through your heel, your big toe and the outside of the foot. Relax your shoulders. Tuck the tail and find a more neutral spine where you've got just a little arch in the low back bone. From here, we're going to come straight down into that lung, bending through the front hip and the back knee. Squeeze through the glutes to come back up. Breathe in to come down. Breathe out to come up. As we work through this second side, maybe we can vary those arms. We reach those arms forward as we come down. Squeeze through quads and glutes to come back up again. As you work here, you've got five to go. Stay long through the back of the neck. Stay drawing in through your ribs and belly and the front of the body. We're going to take another two. Take another one. And then from here, those hands come to your hips. Straighten out through the back leg. Bend more into that front knee. Pulling back through that right root, that front root. You want to feel that work in that front quad. Feel that work in that front glute. Now keep those hands and reach them out away from you. Creating the longest line you can from that back toe out to your fingertips. And here we work through 10 of those calf raises. As you lower that heel down, keep stretching out with your fingertips. As you lift that heel up and down, try and keep that ankle nice and neutral. We are stretching out from your fingertips out to that big toe below, staying long through the body as you go. We're going to take just another four. Another three. Keep the work in that front leg. And then after your final one here, lift up, hold up. Those hands come back to your hips. You're almost there. We're going to come into that curtsy lunge. So that back left foot is going to step across and off the mat. Square yourself up. Find something in front of you. And then from here, we're going to bend through your hips and knees, squeeze through your quads and your glutes to stand back tall. Breathe in to come down and breathe out to squeeze back up again. Think about keeping that front knee rotated nice and open. And you're going to work through your final five here. Smooth and steady with your breath, your shoulders are away from your ears, drawing around your waist. And we're taking two more. We're taking one more. Come up, hold up, step those legs together and then give those legs a shake on out. Let's stretch through the back of those legs. So we're going to take your chin to your chest, round through the back and roll on down towards the floor. Reaching those hands out towards the floor and give those legs a little bit of a shake from side to side. Are you ready to come into your first plank? So ground those hands to the floor, heavy through the heel, through the knuckles, through your fingertips. And then we're going to step your feet back and find your first plank. Feet are about hip distance apart. 
Think about pulling your belly in, wrapping your core around your waist. Shoulders away from your ears, lift your collarbones away from the knuckles below. Smooth and steady as you breathe. And then let's keep working into those glutes. You're gonna float your left leg up off the floor to hip height. Lower it back up down again, and then swap into the other side. Staying smooth and steady with your breath as you go. Think about lifting your chest away from your knuckles below. Press your knuckles into the mat. Finding length out through the crown of the head. So we've got the longest body. We're going to take one more on each side. And then we're going to hold. Whenever, in your, whenever you're in your plank, remembering this is how we want our posture to be in standing. So never slumping through the chest or rounding through that upper back. Let's come across now into our side plank. So tap both heels down. You're going to then lift that left hand up and reach it towards the sky. Both shoulders are away from your ears and drive the outer edge of both feet into the floor below. That right outside of the foot is pressing in, lift up through that bottom hip, through the waist, through the ribs and squeeze in underneath your right underarm. From here we're going to dip those hips. We're going to take five. So breathe in as you let those hips dip and breathe out and squeeze up. Feel yourself lifting through the bottom hip and the bottom waist. We're going to take another three. Another two. Shoulders away from your ears, nice and long through your neck. That's your final one. You're going to hold it here. Hold, or if you'd like to try something a little harder, try and stack your feet on top of one another. From here, we can then also float that top leg up and hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Set that front foot back forward again, lower down onto your bottom knee and stretch out through the bottom side of the body. From here, we're going to take your top hand to your top hip. Relax your head down onto your arm, relax your shoulders away from your ears. And we've got about a 90 degree bend in our knees below. We're going to breathe in and as you breathe out, draw the belly in and lift the bottom side of your waist up away from the floor below. As you breathe out, float your top leg off the leg below and slowly lower back down again. Breathing out, you squeeze up. Breathing in, you come down. As we move, try and feel you're only moving from the hip joint here itself. We're staying really nice and long through the waist, really still through the waist and the pelvis. And as always, lifted through that waist below, firing up through the deep abdominal muscles, firing up through the obliques. We've got another two here. And then we're going to hold. So holding here, maybe a quick reset. Roll the top hip forward a little bit more and you should feel a little bit more intensity comes into that glute med, that muscle that sits on the side and the back of the hip and pelvis. We're going to stretch the leg out straight, push the leg out away from you. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. Pull your toes back towards your nose. And keeping that pelvis nice and still, we're going to then start to draw some circles with that leg. To make it easier, it's smaller. And to make it harder, it's going to be a bigger circle. Whatever you can manage, but keep the pelvis still. Keep the waist drawn in, the waist nice and tight. We are going to work through three more here. That brings you up to 10. Smooth and steady with that breathing. Can you feel that work in that glute? And then fold. We're not done just yet. We're going to take it back the other way. So circle that heel up and over, forward. Squeezing the glute as you lift it up and down, as it comes around. Again, smooth and steady with the breath. Relax the shoulders and every breath out, it's an opportunity to tighten up a little bit more around your waist. We're taking just another three. And two. And one. Hold that leg up and back. Squeeze. Think about pushing your heel to the back corner of the room. 
pull the reds in a little bit more and then we're going to float the leg up and down nice and quick with control 10 times just really putting the last bit of work into that glute you're taking four three two one and then bend that knee float it back on in and give it a tap give it a bit of love we're going to stretch that a little bit through your body here push up into your vermage so we're going to reach the right arm out to the side reach the top hand up and over lengthening all the way down through the underside of the body which is just working so hard in the side plank lengthen out the other way smooth and steady as we float from side to side and from here, we're going to bring your feet over, so you're creating the same shape on the other side. We're coming right up into your side plank again. So your left hand is down onto the floor. Your right foot's going to be forward, and then you're going to step your left foot back and behind. Bring that top arm up towards the roof, extend your fingertips up towards the sky, your shoulders away from your ears. Find length through the neck. The ribs are in, the belly is in, we're lifting from the underside of the body and we're going to take five dips here. Dip your hips down towards the floor and breathe out, squeeze up lifting under the arm, under the rib cage, around the waist and from that bottom left glute. We're going to take just one more, lift up, hold up and then option to hold here. Step your feet to make it a little bit more difficult and then maybe we take it up a notch higher. Bring that top leg up and hold five, four, three, two and one. Bring that top leg down and let's lower down into your side series again. So lower those hips down. You're going to slide right down onto your bottom arm. Top hand comes to your top hip. Lengthen that top hip away from you creating space through that bottom side of the waist. Top hand comes up and is sitting on the side of your hip and pelvis, so you can feel that glute knee when it's working nice and hard for you. Relax the shoulders, and then we're going to come through that bent leg lift. So float that leg up to hip height, and then bring it down back nice and slowly. We're coming through 10 here, and you've got eight to go. Breathe that as you squeeze up through the side of that glute. Shoulders away from your ears and stay nice and tight around your waist. Five to go. Breathe out as you squeeze through that glute. If you can't feel that glute working as hard as you think you should, just roll that top hip forward a little bit more to bring a bit more intensity into it. We're taking another two, another one, hold that leg there and then stretch that leg out and away from you. Quick check with your form, roll the top hip forward, stay tight around the waist, and then keeping that pelvis still, you're gonna take 10 slow, steady circles, circling that heel around. Feel that all the movement comes from the hip joint, and push that heel out and away from you as you go. Feeling it again in that glute on the top side of the hip and pelvis, and feeling it around the waist as your obliques and your core work to stabilize the pelvis. We're taking another two, another one, and then let's go back the other way. So push that heel up and over and back, squeezing through the glute, extending out through that hip. Squeeze through the quad, making your leg as long and as straight as it can be. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. Steady with your breath, you're halfway through those. You've got another now four to go. And three, you've got this. Try and keep that circle nice and big. Nice and smooth and steady. Take your final one and then that leg comes up. Push the heel back. 10 little pulses. Breathe through it, bringing just a little bit of extra work into those glutes. You've got another five. Three, two, one. Hold and then bring that leg all the way back on in. Again, give that glute a little tap. Give yourself a little bit of love and let's push on up. So from here, we're going to come up into your hover next. So come on over onto your hands and knees. We're placing the hands straight in underneath the shoulders. And your knees are straight in underneath your hips behind. Tuck your toes under behind. Shoulders away from your ears. Look at the floor just past your fingertips. We're going to breathe in to prepare. And as you breathe out, tighten up through your waist and hover those knees just an inch off the floor. 
Try and find length through your spine, length through the back of the neck as you hold here. Smooth and steady with your breath. Blow those knees back down. Breathe in to prepare. And as you breathe out, let's hold it back up again. If that's hard enough, you're gonna stick and hold that or to make it a little bit more challenging. Step back out to your plank, keep those hips nice and level, and then walk back on in again. Not letting those knees come down in between. Press along through the back of the neck. Keep your ribs in, keep your belly nice and tight. If you've been leading with the same leg each time, let's change it up, leading with the other leg as you come in and out. We're gonna take another three planks. Smooth with the breath, try not to hold your breath as you go. Another two. And then coming out to your final one. Chest is up, shoulders out away from your ears, pull in through your core. Think about squeezing your big toes towards one another, fire up through your inner thigh muscles, and we're here for three. Two, one, and side one knee in, bring the other knee in and give yourself a quick break. Sit your bottom back towards your heels, into a little child's pose here, relax your shoulders, maybe close your eyes for a moment, nice and smooth and steady with the breath. Come back on up again. We come back to four point kneel again. So again, checking you've got a nice box shape here with your shoulders right over the wrist, hips right over the top of your knees. If you get sore on your wrist, think about really pushing down through the knuckles. Spread the hands out, press down through the fingertips to help yourself take a bit of load off the wrists. As you go through, if it gets too much, feel free to come up to Gorilla Grip, which will just help you take a little bit more load off as well. We're going to start off here, we're going to extend one leg back behind you. So tighten through the core, and as you breathe out, extend one leg back behind you, squeeze that leg and lift it up to hip height. We're going to slide that leg back on in, and swap on over to the other side. As we go from side to side, noticing what's happening with your upper body. We want to keep the chest lifted. We want to stay long through the back of the neck and keep the pelvis nice and still and steady in space. If you feel like you're progressing through pretty well then, let's take it up a notch. Let's reach the opposite arm out with the opposite leg. Float then back on down and without changing the shape of your spine, ribs, waist or pelvis, you change from side to side. As we move through, can you push out through the knuckles Squeeze through your glutes, lift everything up away from the floor just a little bit more. Smooth and steady with the breath. You squeeze through your underarm muscles, keeping yourself stable around the shoulder joint. Taking one more with the arm and the leg, and then let's reach out, hold out, and stay out. Just for five here, you're going to keep yourself strong and steady. Tap down to the mat, squeeze through the back of the glute, through the back of the shoulder, and work further into those extensor muscles of our body. Lift up, hold up, stay up, and slide on in. Ready for five on the other side. Lengthen out through your fingertips. Lengthen out through your toes. Tighten through your core, and come down for five. Four. Breathe out as you lift up. Take another two, take another one, and come on down. So let's turn now over, continuing to work through your glutes, through your core, coming down and onto your back. Roll down onto your back, place your hands down by your side, and flip the palms up. Flipping the palms up so the palms reach towards the sky. Feet hip distance apart. And let's tuck under with the pelvis. Pull it up through the pelvic floor those kegel muscles, drawing in through your deep abdominal muscles, and then tuck the tail, squeeze the glutes, and push up into your first bridge here. So in your bridge, we never want to feel that it's uncomfortable for the low back. Tuck under with the pelvis if you feel like you're arching quite a lot into that low back. Let's think about pushing your feet down into the floor, and think about pulling your heels towards you to fire up a little bit more through the back of those hamstrings. If this is pretty easy for you to be here, we can make this whole series harder by having our arms reaching up towards the sky. So here, let's take 10 pulses through the, our bridge. 
You're going to breathe in as you dip down, breathe out as you press the hips to the sky. Breathe out as you push those hips to the sky and feel that you're pushing through the hamstrings, through the glutes, but you're keeping the ribs and the belly pulled in from the front. We're going to take another five, four, use your breath as you go, you should be squeezing through that back line of the body. Another two, another one, and hold. Here, your arms can be up, want to make it a little bit easier, bring those arms down by your side. Keep the pelvis nice and still and steady, and I'm going to float one leg up to tabletop position, so in a single leg bridge. Float that leg back on down again, and then swap over to the other side. As we go from side to side, try to keep the pelvis nice and still and steady in space. Try not to let it rock and roll from side to side. Keep driving up through the hips, and you're going to feel your hamstring has to work harder when you come into this single leg bridge. We'll take one more on each side. One more on that left side and then hold in bridge. Reach those hands up to the sky, tuck under with the tail, squeeze the hamstring, squeeze the glutes, breathe in to prepare. And as we breathe out, we take our arms all overhead. Breathe in those arms, reach back up to the sky, breathe out those arms, reach overhead. So as we take the arms overhead, you want to feel there's more intensity coming to the glutes. There's more intensity coming to those hamstrings. Keep pulling your heels back towards the bottom. And feel that lifting the arms overhead makes you want to lift your rib cage. Try and keep your ribs in, keep the belly tight. Well, let's move to another three. Breathing out so those arms go overhead. And then again, hold. Bring those arms down by your side. Again, we float one leg back up to single tabletop here. We're gonna pulse those hips up and down for five, four, three, Breathe out and push up through the hips, squeeze the glutes and hamstrings, bring that leg back down. Final exercise here for the glutes, we're going to float the left leg up. Breathe in as you dip and push up for five. Pushing up through the foot, through the hamstrings and the glutes. Take your final one, lift up, hold up, bring that leg up, hold your breath, reach your hands to the sky and roll down one vertebrae at a time and then tuck those knees in towards your chest. As you feel really nice with your low back and your glutes, giving your back a little massage into the floor there, and a little stretch to the glutes at the back of the body. From here, we're gonna give those glutes a rest, and let's finish off coming into some work through our abdominals. So, feet come down to the floor. We're gonna bring those hands, make a little hammock with your hands, and place that in behind the back of your head. Resting the top of the neck and the bottom of the head into those hands. Breathing in, and as you breathe out, lift through your kegel muscles, your pelvic floor, drawing through your waist and curl yourself up into your first Pilates sit up. You're gonna hold it here as we breathe out. Bring one leg and then two legs right up into your double tabletop position. Breathing in to prepare, and as you breathe out, tap one toe down towards the floor. Alternating from side to side. Trying to keep the pelvis nice and still and steady as those legs alternate from side to side. Keep drawing your belly button in towards your spine. Keep those ribs in, keep your waist nice and tight. Head, neck and shoulders relaxing into the hands. We're going to take one more on each side. And then hold your double tabletop position here. Breathing in, you let your body come down. I breathe out, curl up. We're coming through 10 of your Pilates sit-ups here. We're coming through nine. So as you breathe out, pull the belly in. Think about continuing to tuck a little bit under with the pelvis. Lifting through the chest, not through the chin. And drawing the ribs in, belly nice and tight. We're coming through another five. Four. Breathe out as you come up. Hands stay long through the back of the neck. Come up, hold up, stay up. You're going to finish off your abs here by bringing one knee in towards your chest, stretching the leg out away from you. The voice from away from the body, shoulders away from your ears, moving through 10 to finish off. We're going to breathe in 
And when you breathe out, you're going to swap and hold the other hand. Breathe in to swap, breathe out to hold. Try to keep your chest up. Try to keep that belly drawn right on in. And we're taking another four. Three, long through the back of the neck. Two, one, and then lower all the way back down. Let those hands reach out to the side. Give those knees a nice big spinal twist from side to side. Twisting those knees from side to side, stretching out through the low back, opening up through the chest, and let your breathing slow down. Slow and steady through, through those breaths as we come to the end of the 30 minute session. So, guys, we made it. We made it to the end of the class. I hope you're feeling good. I can definitely feel it through my glutes and through my abs. Thanks so much for watching and subscribe to Well and Good. We look forward to seeing you.